Hello, this is Abhinav Krishna again. As Rama Navami is approaching, I am going to narrate about Lord Rama. In the age known as Tata Yuga, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna appeared as the avatar Rama, the valiant king. Setting the standard of, for heroism, morality, and good government, the story of Rama is told in the epic Ramayana. Lord Rama appeared in the dynasty of the sun god as the son of King Dasharatha and Queen Kaushalya of Ayodhya. He was heir to the throne of Greater India and had three younger brothers, Bharata, the son of Rama's stepmother, Kaikehi, and the twins, Lakshmana and Shatrugan. Under the total th- age of his guru, Vishwamitra, Rama studied martial arts and defeated many demons in a contest of heroes to win the hand of a beautiful princess, Sita. Rama, Rama was victorious. He lifted strong and broke the mighty bow of Lord Shiva, which other constants could not even move Princess Sita. Gladly accepted Rama as her husband and there was a magnified wedding. All all was well in Ayodhya, and Rama was all to be was about to be crowned king upon his father's retreatment when a jealous hunchback maidservant named Matara convinced her mistress, Queen Kalkehi, Dasharatha's favorite wife, and Rama's stepmother to make good on a promise the king had given her years later earlier. It so had come to pass that Kaikehi had rescued the injured king from a battlefield and nursed him back to health. At that time, Dasharatha had promised Kaikehi a boon anything she asked. He would oblige. Matara convinced Kaikehi that now on the eve of Rama's coronation was the time to catch in on that promise. Ask the king to exile Rama to the forest for 14 years and elect her son Bharata to the throne instead. King Dasharatha was beside himself and heart broken. He pleaded with Kaikehi but the selfish queen would not budge. The king Dutiban had had to fulfill her demands. Rama accepted the order of his father and moved to the forest, along with his younger brother Lakshman and wife Sita. The citizens of Ayodhya were dumbfounded. They felt as if the light of their heart had been extinguished. Soon thereafter, thereafter King Dasharatha passed away from grief. Kaikehi and Matara needless to stay, became objects of contentment. Kaikehi's son, Bharata, refused to accept the throne and decided to wait out the 14 years exil until his beloved bro- elder brother, elder brother uh, returned at Rama's request. However, he governed, he governed Ayodhya in his uh, absent installing Rama's shoes on the throne. During their stay in the forest, Rama, Sita, and Lakshman had many adventures and encountered many demons. Once a she-demon tried to woo the, an- the hands of Rama and assault the pretty Sita. When the attack became physical, Lakshmana quickly intervened and cut off her nose and ears. She was shook Sharpanaka, sister of the evil demon king Ravana. Hearing of his sister's damage, Ravana prepared to seek revenge. He sent a magical golden deer to tempt Sita who asked Rama to catch it for her. Ravana took advantage of Rama's absence and kidnapped Sita. When the brother discovered that Sita was missing, they searched for her throughout the forest. Eventually, they came upon an old 
eagle named Jatayu, who informed them that Ravana was culprit. Rama and Lakshman journeyed south towards Lanka, Ravana's capital. Along the way, they befriended Sugriva and Hanuman, leaders of the monkey army. With their help, Rama and Lakshman constructed a bridge across the ocean from India's southernmost tip to the island of Lanka and attacked Ravana and the demon soldiers. At the end of a fierce battle, Ravana, I mean Rama personally killed the ten headed demon Ravana. The Lord rescued Sita and carried her in a flower airplane back to their capital city Ayodhya. Where the couple were joyful, received by all the entrod as king and queen, that joyful day is still celebrated to this day as Diwali, the festival of lights. The sacred text Srimad Bhagavatam describes that as ruler of the world, Lord Ramas, the supreme personality of Godhead, performed sacrifices, gave charity to the saintly people and enlightened them for, from within the cores of their heart. During his regime, everyone was rejoiced and happy. The forests, rivers, mountains, and seas favorably supplied the requirements of life for all beings. All bodily and mental suffering, disease, old age, and demise, lamentation, distress, fear, and fatigue were absent. There was even no death for those who did not want it. Though Rama taught the world by the example of his life, he took a vow to accept only one wife. He was dutiful, honorable, and charitable. If you like the video, please like and subscribe.